Uh, so I am Dr. Vivek Gupta. I am sitting with a very important and eminent, eminent interventional cardiologist of Europe. Not only from Europe, I think the whole world uh, recognize you. I am from Delhi Apollo Hospital and I have the privilege to be in the United Kingdom in London, sitting in Royal Brompton Hospital along with Professor Taro Di Mario. And I just witnessed a very complicated case uh, which he has done very, uh, with his expertise in a, a few hours, a patient of mitra clip. Uh, mitral clip is a procedure which is being done for the patients of uh, mitral leak or regurgitation of severe origin and the, which is uh, rather contraindicated or very high risk for the patient to be done by open heart surgery by mitral valve repair to the surgeons. So may I ask you Dr. Carlo Di Mario, you have a huge experience now uh, with mitral clip and uh, uh, can you just explain for the ordinary audience of physicians uh, how this is done and how it is uh, useful to the patient? Yeah, I mean, first of all, we've done around 120, so huge experience is by far the largest in the UK, but there are countries like Germany that have much higher numbers than us. In terms of what is used for, I can say we need one uh, word of caution, because I know in India, rheumatic valve disease is very frequent, that's the main contraindication. When you have sick, non-pliable leaflet, unfortunately, that makes uh, uh, the procedure undoable. Besides that, you have indication both for degenerative uh, mitral regurgitation, that means uh, uh, the classic barrow valve, or the fibroelastic degeneration, that is the most common indication that we have in elderly patients, or the second end of the spectrum, patient with very dilated heart, uh, um, uh, retracted uh, uh, leaflets, lack of coaptation of the, of the um, uh, mitral leaflets uh, and secondary mitral regurgitation. These are is, the two main indications. Ischemic uh, origin. Often ischemic, often even uh, dilated cardiomyopathy. Okay, and uh, do you think that this procedure which is being done under general anesthesia, uh, you have a success rate about 95% or uh, about more than that? Um, well, I think that you have a spectrum of uh, results. You have witnessed uh, one of the, uh, the luckiest we had, where you have seen at the end there was basically nothing, no, no, no regurgitation left, but this is the minority. Most of the time you have a one plus residual, occasionally even a two plus residual. Uh, however, it's surprising that uh, these patients that are otherwise inoperable tend to have great benefit from a, a reduction of, of their initial severe mitral regurgitation. Especially so it's not as good as surgery, but it's good enough to improve the functional result. And also it is less risky because you're not opening the chest and you're not opening the heart. And uh, of course uh, this procedure will be very popular soon and it's already popular, but in, in India we are, as I'm talking to the companies, it will be coming soon, uh, but not immediately. Uh, we can always invite you for giving, uh, uh, doing a live in box case in the future in the European meetings. And uh, I just last question that uh, you have been uh, doing a lot of academic activities. You have the president of uh, European Association of, of uh, Cardiologists, EAPCI. This is for percutaneous uh, coronary intervention. Cardiovascular. And uh, cardiovascular, sorry. And uh, you have achieved uh, major. What is your still left out uh, ambition? in your life for what you want to achieve further because uh, already you are a highly skilled professional, a highly qualified academician. So what is the last ambition, not last but at least a new ambition which is still not fulfilled? I want to have a full year to visit around India when I retire, my favorite country. Okay, thank you so much and it's a pleasure talking to Dr. Carlo Di Mario and I'm privileged. Uh, I again repeat myself, I'm Professor Dr. Vivek Gupta in Apollo Hospital, Delhi and sitting with Carl Di Mario in Royal Brompton Hospital, one of the very important hospitals in London. Thank you very much.